Today I'm going to show you how to use the push transition on Apple's Keynote for Mac and for iPad, specifically when you have an image that's too tall for the screen you're on. So you want to make it look like you're panning from bottom to top or top to bottom. Let's get started. We go into Apple's Keynote for Mac. We're going to create a new slide, just a blank slide. Go up under Shape. Let's type in here and choose Skyscraper. And this is small, and so we'll make it larger. And that fits your screen. But if you want to actually zoom more, we can shrink our screen, our slide, down to 25%. Let's increase this image. Make our skyscraper nice and big, and we'll start here at the bottom, and we'll drag it over and center it on the guide. And then as a help for us, we're going to go into Shape, choose a basic line, make it completely horizontal, Go into Format. If you don't see that, choose View, Inspector, Format. We're going to increase this to about 10 points. And we're going to line it up at the very top of our screen, centered on our object here. Now that that's ready to go, we're going to tap on our slide and duplicate it. On the next slide, we're going to select the line by tapping it, hold the Command key down, tap our shape. And now, keeping that center guide so we stay left to right centered, we're going to drag this down until that's at the bottom of the screen. Then we're going to tap off those, click just the line, and bring it back up to the top. Now, tap on your slide and duplicate this slide. Same thing again. Tap on the line, hold the Command key down, tap on your shape, keeping it centered from left to right. Drag it down to so that's at the bottom. Tap on your slide. You'll do this until you get your entire image shown. On that last slide here, we'll tap just on the line. We'll bring it up here. Tap on the line. Hold the Command key down. Tap on the shape. Bring this down to the bottom. OK. Next thing we're going to do is clean it up. So we're going to tap on the line and delete it. And do that on each slide. Wherever that line is, that was just a guide for us in setting it up. We don't want to actually show that. So get rid of it. Now, tap on your slide, and you can use the Command key to select the other slides. Go over to Animate, and again, if that doesn't show up, choose View, Inspector, Animate. Add an effect. Underneath, Appear and Move, choose Push. For your duration, leave it at about 0.75 seconds, but change the direction from top to bottom. Now, if we play our slides, we move from the bottom of our image to the top. And if you're presenting and talking about different floors or using this for your different points, you could actually have your main point be a flag that you have up here and reveal at the end. But you, you know, move through an image, an object that was too tall for your screen, but it made it look like you were panning from bottom to top with a camera when all you were doing is setting up those transitions. That's how you use the pan push transition for tall objects on Keynote for your Mac. Now, let's set it up on your iPad. Open up Apple's Keynote on your iPad. And again, we're going to the bottom. We're going to add a blank slide. This time, we'll change it up, and we'll go to the paintbrush, the format here, the background, and choose white. We'll tap that again so that goes away. Go up to our shapes. Tap on it. It brings in this nice ladder which is great, but we want it to be bigger than our slide. So we'll begin to drag it up. Then we'll two finger, two finger pinch, make this big. We're going to climb the ladder. So we'll center it, put it on our slide. Now, same kind of thing. We're going to tap over here on our image in the navigator. We are going to duplicate that slide. And on this one, we're going to add that line, our little guide again. So clear out of here, cancel the search, Go back into basic and tap your line. It's going to be white, which is hard to see. So go to format and change the color of your line. You can swipe over here. We're going to choose red so it's nice and visible. And then we're going to increase this to about 16. Make it nice and wide. Drag it up here so it's centered. And that's our guide. We'll tap on that line and we'll also tap on the shape. And now we'll drag both of them down, keeping it centered. 
that line reaches the bottom of the screen. Now we're going to duplicate that slide, tap anywhere off of the objects, and then just select the line, bring it back up to the top, select the line, and select the object, drag them both down, keeping them centered. We'll go over and duplicate the slide. You would keep doing this until you got to the top of your object, which we know will be our last slide here. Tap on the line, bring it up top here. While holding on to that, also tap on the object, drag them both down, and we got to the top. Tap off of that. We want to get rid of these lines again, so tap on it, and delete. Previous slide, tap on the line, delete, line, delete. Again, this is not real hard, but you won't see this in a lot of, of presentations, and so it's a little trick that kind of sets you apart. Once we have the slides set up, then we'll go in here and set up our transitions. So select that slide, tap on it with one finger, hold it down, tap the others, and then we'll go over to transition, add transition at the bottom here. We're gonna go over and choose push. So the default transition is right to left, is a horizontal. So we'll go in here under push, change right to left to from top, Go back up here and hit done. We'll see that we are moving up our slide as if we were climbing up our ladder. Each of the rungs could have a point or a word or a phrase. And then you reach the top with your conclusion. And that's how you set it up on Keynote for iPad. And that's overall how you set up a pan or push transition to show a large vertical object on your presentation bigger than your screen, both Keynote for Mac and for iPad. Thank you.